What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you what I've got running on my Nexus 6P. This is the phone that I use as my daily driver and it is also the one that I tend to test most new things out on. So today I'm going to be showing you the new updated Action Launcher 3. This is by a guy called Chris M. Lacey and he has been around for a good long while making launches for Android and doing other little bits and pieces. Um, he made a lot of the sort of floating notification um, notification apps sort of back in the day. But there's been a couple of recent updates to Action Launcher 3. Um, as you guys probably know, Action Launcher allows you to put a widget panel, oh, a widget panel on the side um, of your screen. You can access this from a bunch of different apps. And I have it set so that on the left, if I swipe, it takes me straight to Google Now rather than going to the uh, going to the application drawer, uh, which more normally lives there in Action Launcher. But a couple of the new updates, you can see at the top here, we've got the sort of Google search pill widget along with the date. Now these are actually separate widgets. You have to go and add, um, as you would with any other widget, through the widget pane. Where do they live? Here we go. If you go across the top here, you can see Google pill and the date widget, and you just want to drop those onto your home screen if you want to use them. And obviously if you tap there, it will open up Google search view. You can also choose which calendar to launch. I have it set to automatically launch Google Calendar. Um, at the bottom here, you can see there is now an option to have that little sort of carrot. Is it carrot? Car I'm not actually sure. Carrot, we're gonna call it a carrot. A little carrot above your dock and you now have it so you have that nice um, Android N scroll up sort of full draggable application drawer it kind of reminds me of how android used to be when you had a little tab that you would pull up and all of your widgets and all of your apps would live in a kind of little tray um, it's got a search bar at the top and you also get your four uh, recently used or most used apps at the top there as well so that is pretty much uh, what is new in the most recent version of action launcher there are a couple of other little changes uh, let's get this nice and close so you can see it at the bottom here you've got the nice android n folders which are that really cool um, circle with the previews. I think they look really neat. There we go. Let's get us back into focus. Um, so I'm also going to be showing you what I am running on my Nexus 6P, just sort of generally and day to day. Um, I've done a couple of these. So you guys know sort of the stock apps that I go to again and again. But I'm going to run through a couple of new ones. So at the top here, we've got 7 Minute, which is still my favorite fitness app. I haven't actually used it. Um, for a while I've been a little bit lazy but if you do want to do sort of a seven minute workout every day seven minute is great obviously we've got Action Launcher 3 we've got a couple of ADW apps here um, for the new ADW launcher I had actually filmed a video oh there we go I had actually filmed a video to do on this and then it managed to get corrupted but I am going to do an ADW video at some point in the future but it's a really nice launcher um, as you can see it's now clogged up with uh, recently installed apps so we've got Kindle. Um, I've gone back to using Alarmy as my alarm app of choice. Man, my autofocus is really struggling here. There's a couple of reasons I really like this. The main one is the fact that you can turn it off through a couple of different methods. So I've got it set to take a picture. This means I need to go into my bathroom and take a picture of my sink. Otherwise, my alarm won't turn off. Um, just actually force you to get out of bed in the morning works really nicely and you can do something similar with a QR code or a barcode or um, you can use a math problem or something to sort of wake your brain up in the morning. So if we go back to all my apps here, we've then got Kindle ASAP Launcher. So this is ASAP Launcher. You get a sort of widget pane at the top here which allows you to search, um, has voice search and normal search, also has the weather and if you swipe up on it you get the clock, the, uh, the date and your next alarm and we'll scroll back. Along the bottom here, you have a customizable dock, and if you flick it up, you get your most used applications. You can also pin apps to this, so they'll stay there um, indefinitely. The cool thing with this is it does away with widgets and just has big widget panes, as it were. So if you scroll across here, you can see you've got a full weather page. You scroll again, I've got a load of my contacts. If I scroll this way, I have got my calendar, and then scroll again, um, gives me a to-do list. This to-do list is really nice. You've got a couple of different categories at the top here and you can switch in between them and then you can tuck stuff off uh, once you've done it and you can add new tasks. It's a pretty nice launcher. I don't use it all the time, but if you are looking for something with those big full screen widgets, then um, ASAP launcher might be 
a good option for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, what else have we got here? We've got Asphalt 8. I've been recently playing a lot of racing games. I've started using, bear with me here, I've started using an Xbox 360 controller with a USB on the go cable, which actually isn't attached at the moment, but I've started using that for a couple of racing and shooting games, so I'm getting back into gaming on my phone again. Um, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter uh, using the PSP emulator, which is down here, which is PPSSPP. I also have it on my laptop. I have it set up so that when I save stuff in the cloud, it um, automatically pings between my phone and my laptop. So what else have we got? We've got Audio Pocket, which lets you listen to YouTube videos in the background and also download them. Automate, which is a really neat app, which is kind of like all the other automation apps, but seems to be a little bit easier to use. This allows you to download sort of recipes. So I've got a couple of different ones here. So Daily Automator Backup. Um, this one over here allows me to text my phone with a little code and it will turn silent mode off. So if I lose it um, and it's on silent, I can make it ring and then find where it is. But you can download a bunch of different recipes and a lot of these apps I'm going to do more detailed videos on in the future. This is just a real quick flick through. Um, Aviate Launcher I've talked about before. It's kind of actually died um, in terms of being developed but I still occasionally use it just sort of for nostalgia I guess and it looks quite nice. Um, AZ Screen Recorder is the app I use to record my screen when you guys see in the video that it's just set um, against my background. Um, let me know what you think in terms of the quality of that versus say filming something like this. Um, I sort of realized I hadn't done a behind the camera video for ages, so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll go with that for a while. Uh, BBC iPlayer, which is kind of works, but it's a bit crap to be honest. The BBC apps aren't great. Cam Scanner is invaluable if you want to be able to turn documents into, uh, into PDFs and things like that. Uh, Chroma Keyboard, I am actually going to uninstall because the new Android N Keyboard Manager um, has a bunch of different themes, so I haven't been using Chroma at all. Uh, Clash Royale, I am absolutely obsessed with, um, very addicted, been playing it pretty much every day for probably the last six months, so that's that. I have got a Lava Hound, which I'm somewhat pleased, pleased, somewhat pleased about. Drastic, which is a really good DS emulator. Again, I'm going to do a big video on um, Android emulators. There's a, oh, what's it called? I've got it installed actually. There's one app that claims to do, here we go, RetroArch, which basically does every emulator you can imagine. Um, and I think there is an advantage to having it all in one app, but also things like Drastic and PPSSPP, I actually quite like using still, but I'll talk about that in more detail in that video. Um, I'm still using Dark Sky as my weather app of choice. I love the fact it messages you um, very exactly when it's about to rain. I've got Duo installed. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm kind of waiting on um, Allo to come out. I think that could be quite interesting. I've um, got a couple of other things. Eevee is an interesting home app. For some reason you can't actually, f if you're in the UK, you for some reason cannot find this in the Play Store, but I downloaded an APK of it to give it a test out and it's kind of cool. It's a little bit like Action Launcher in the sense of having your apps all on the left and it's got this sort of universal search thing, which kind of works, but to be honest, the search in Android is uh, it's pretty universal by itself. Um, what else have we got? Flamingo is a really nice Twitter app I have been using. FPSE, which is a, uh, a PS1 emulator, which works quite nicely. Uh, da -da -da. Headspace, I've been using every day. It's a sort of secular, I guess, meditation app, which I really, really highly recommend if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, boom, boom, boom. What else have we got? Lots of this you've already seen in previous videos. Um, another emulator there for GBA, which is obviously great. Uh, Opera VPN is my new favorite VPN client. I don't use them much, but um, there are occasionally things that I need to use a VPN for. So Opera VPN is the one I'm perfectly going, uh, the one I'm currently going for. Got a couple of these Android N only apps, but I'm gonna do a separate video on those. Uh, Raging Thunder, talking about racing apps, I really can't recommend Raging Thunder more. It's kind of old actually, it's a couple of years old, but it's a really, really good racing game. Uh, Ripple is an app I've been using a lot, which allows you to get predominantly GIFs in my case, but it lets you get bits of artwork from sort of an online forum. 
Um, but if you say search rain gif, you can find a bunch of ones pertaining to rain. And I've been using GIF Live wallpaper to set these uh, as my wallpaper. And as you can see at the moment, I have a GIF installed of a sort of, I want to say octopus, some sort of monster getting rained on because I'm British, so I love the rain. Um, do, do, do. Shadowgun Dead Zone, been playing a lot of that again recently using the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, a couple of new icon packs, again I'll be doing individual videos on those. There's one here called Snackable, which I'm currently using, which I do quite enjoy. Um, and then yeah, everything else here is pretty standard actually. Um, I do want to start using this Zombies Run app. I don't sort of historically go running by... I'm 22 now, so I've hit that age where I need to start thinking about my fitness slightly more. Um, so I'm going to try and give that a test out in the next couple of weeks. Um, what else? Tapas, actually, I'll show you because this is quite cool. It's a cartoon um, or comic strip app. Come on, focus. Here we go. Um, and each day it'll send you some free ones, and then if you want to buy uh, buy more, you obviously can. But um, they're actually really good. Um, I don't read a huge amount of comics. I used to read a lot of manga when I was a kid. Um, come on, it's not the quickest app in the world. So you can see you can get your comics um, in little episodes to read. And as I said, I don't read a huge amount of these, but I have been reading, <clears throat> excuse me, I have been reading the daily ones that it sends you and they're kind of interesting. Right, uh, do, do, do. There we are guys, that's a real quick look on what is on my Nexus 6P running Android N. Oh, there we go. As I said, I'm gonna be doing a few more videos um, in the future about some of the apps I showed you today. So please do subscribe if you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you want to see. You can follow me on all my social media things, the links in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.